Teachers are in school from when they're 6 to when they retire, and you were complaining about high school. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming, I'm your host Connor Monroe and I've never been naked for 24 hours straight. Five Nights at Freddy's is a cultural icon, even though the first game came out in 2014. Since then we've had a plethora of new robots to scare our pants off while they devour our limbs. But which ones are the worst? That's what we're exploring with today's list of the Top 10 Scary FNAF animatronics. If you're new here or haven't yet, be sure you hit like and subscribe for daily gaming content and ring that bell to join the clan and level up. Now, roll the intro. Number 10, Reaper Puppet. While the Reaper Puppet may not be canon to the Five Nights series, he originates from a popular fan-made game series called Final Nights. Reaper Puppet is one of the main antagonists in Final Nights 3, Nightmares Awoken, where he will climb over a railing to get into your hospital room. He also returns in the final game of the series, Final Nights 4, Fates Entwined, where he looks even more gruesome. In the third game, he looks similar to the puppet we all know and Nightmare Annette combined. His legs are curled like Ursula's tentacles, and the arms are so thin they're worse than mine. He has sharp fingers that in all honesty appear tree-like, where his legs are the roots and his arms are the branches. The way he just climbs towards the door is so creepy, and you need to confront him to get him to leave. And in the fourth game he looks like the puppet mixed with Jeff the Killer, like Nightmare Annette on some form of substance that would be classified as illegal and might have a similar name to that of a famous soda brand. And at 9, Toy Chica. Toy Chica is a simple animatronic, but a scary one equipped with security functions that allow it to scan everyone it sees, anyone in the sex offender shuffle is luckily going to stay far away from the pizzeria. But if you manage to get by, the actual design of the thing will be enough to make you leave. Chica is a chicken, which means that they have beaks, but Toy Chica doesn't have a beak. Sure, it starts off having a beak, but by the time it would help you, the damn thing is gone. Plus, don't even get me started on the fact that the majority of pictures that pop up when you Google Toy Chica are things that kids should not be seeing. Get your cupcake away from there! It doesn't belong there! Stop it! First appearing in Five Nights 2 and later Ultimate Custom Night, Toy Chica is just god awful without the beak. How could it fall off in the first place? It's attached to your face! And it ain't entered. Ennard is literally the insides of five different animatronics, basically just walking around with his guts and the guts of four other people visible to anyone who wants to see, or doesn't want to see. Plus there's also the fact that to escape from sister location, they scoop out your guts and replace them with themselves, making you their flesh suit while also infusing you with the remnant metal. So even after they've noped out of you, your rotting corpse can still walk around and become the garden pizzeria simulator. Plus when he takes that like mask off, it's just like three eyes. Yeah, three eyes with one hanging off his cheek. It's too much. I can't. No. I think the worst part is that he ends up having to insert himself into you like some weird kinky crap, but then ejects himself to go find a new fresh flesh suit. Hey, that's kind of like a tongue twister. New flesh fresh, no, new fresh flesh suit, new fresh flesh suit. Man, that's hard. Oh, and the damn nightmare version I saw when I googled him, I, even if it's just fan made, I just, I can't anymore. This looks worse than Pennywise. He looks like a clown with a stash of pillows under his floorboard with his victims in the attic. I, I can't. I don't know why I said the pillows. I did though. And it's seven, Biddy Bap. The Biddy Baps are a pair of tiny animatronics appearing in sister location that could also have up to seven members of their little Biddy cult or whatever it is. The two we see are only active in night two during the game. They're small, baby-like animatronics with pale skin and oddly colored eyes. At the beginning of sister location, you hide under a desk while you hear the two talking about stuff you only listen to if you're Matt Pat. Then need to fight to keep the door closed as they try to push through. The fact that you can see their eyes poking through while you're fighting to close the door only makes it worse. This is by far one of the most intense moments of the series. Plus, it's the purest form of nightmare fuel, especially if you're a parent. To watch these things peel their face off to reveal their animatronic interiors, I just can't. It feels wrong. And it's six, Music Man. This guy is always smiling, and not like the good kind of smiling that gives you the rev of always being happy, but literally showing all your teeth with your mouth in like a rectangle smile. This animatronic is one of the purchasable products in Pizzeria Simulator. He can be found in the rare finds auction section of the catalog, and can also be unlocked by fishing him out of the ball pit tower minigame. He made a return in Ultimate Custom Night as one of the selectable characters, as they all did. Activating this character will cause him to spawn behind you. He's sound sensitive, meaning that if you make noise, he will crash his symbols together. The more noise you make, the faster the crashing, until eventually he just jump scares the hell out of you. Music Man can be activated by Phantom Mangle and Mangle's Gargles, Phone Guy Calls, The Monitor, and The Fan. <gasps> the Fan. 
This guy is basically a musical spider, and if I wanted to deal with that, I'd watch Charlotte's Web. If you've seen other videos, you'll know I hate spiders, and this is honestly just terrible. And he's behind you, and you can't see him, which makes it even worse. You have to go off sound, and if you're trying to do like the 2020, 2020 thing, like, uh, uh, no. And at five, Nightmare Mangle. Nightmare Mangle is the really screwed up version of Mangle, who first appeared in the Halloween update for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Sure, original Mangle is scary, with a jaw that can unhinge and the one who caused the bite of 87, but this Nightmare Mangle takes it to a whole new level of terror. Removing what can only be described as flesh, you see the horrifying internal endoskeleton of the animatronic. Throw on a few extra arms, legs, and even heads, and you'll be spooking me for days. In FNAF 4, this replaces Nightmare Foxy in the closet, so make sure you keep checking that, otherwise you'll be screwed. But it also makes an appearance in Ultimate Custom Night since, again, they literally all do. In Ultimate Custom Night, Nightmare Mangle comes down the right hall, but you can prevent it from entering the office by buying the Funtime Foxy plushie from the prize corner. If you don't though, it's one of the scariest jump scares in the game, but mostly because of the extra head. And it for Scrap Baby. Sometime between the events of the 5th and 6th game, Baby ends up getting kicked out of the Ennard clan. There's a conversation in the source code of Scott Coffin's two websites to back this up, where Baby is getting voted off the island. After this, Baby somehow finds a way to rebuild her shell, and finds her way to the back alley of Pizzeria Simulator trying to get inside, and failing until you bring her in. Scrap Baby is terrifying. Being horribly disfigured and knocked down, the player has to salvage the animatronic since that's the whole point of the game. But when she attacks, oh my god, it's terrifying and very intense. In Ultimate Custom Night, she has a very interesting gameplay mechanic where she is sitting next to the desk slumped over. There is a panel next to her that allows you to shock her at the cost of 1% of power. This won't make a difference until she has moved. If she has, shocking her will cause her to leave and never return. But if you don't notice, she will jump scare you the next time you bring up your monitor. And a 3, Jacko Chica. This is the scariest version of Chica by far. Sure, there is a Jacko Bonnie, but the Chica is just the worst. It's a nightmare version of Chica, but with fiery eyes and stomach. Oh my god. In Ultimate Custom Night, this version has some damn creepy lines. After getting killed by Jacko Chica, you can hear things like, The fire within me burns eternal and now yours shall as well. And I am a burning reminder of your misdeeds. Which is totally fun, you know? But they also replaced Chica's cupcake with a jack-o'-lantern. Come on, the cupcake was the best part! This is for sure the scariest thing about the animatronic. Forget the torn flesh, glowing cracks, eyes, and rows of teeth. Okay, maybe it's not. While Jacko Chica may not be canon, it's something I can't unsee. Especially when the jack-o'-lantern has its own jump scare. Like what? Even the cupcake doesn't have that. Rude. And at 2, Night Marionette. Also making its first appearance in the Halloween update for Five Nights 4, Night Marionette, also known as Night Marion or Nightmare Puppet, this character is a horrifying version of the puppet. He uses the same behavior as Nightmare in this game. Night Marionette is the skinniest of all animatronics. His hands are long and just three fingers. He has an exposed rib cage that protrudes from its back, and his legs are long and look like they are made of symbiote from a Spider Man movie. In Ultimate Custom Night, he appears inside the office in random areas, and you must avoid putting your mouse over top of him to make him go away. Otherwise, he will materialize and he will jump scare you once he's solid. He also makes an appearance in Help Wanted, where he will appear in the second night of Terror's level, which is fair enough because after seeing him, I will never be the same. The lack of color makes him even more terrifying, and I don't know if I can sleep tonight. Finally, in a number one, Nightmare. Nightmare is almost identical to Nightmare Fredbear, with the same model but a black body and yellow top hat and bow tie. In Five Nights 4, he will appear in Night 7, replacing every other animatronic, which is honestly intimidating as f. He doesn't need support to come and kill you. He'll do that on his own. He's a lone wolf, doesn't need a pack to be confident in his abilities, and he's everywhere but also nowhere. The only way you can tell which direction he's coming from is by listening to the footsteps present in the game. In Ultimate Custom Night, he's invisible until he reaches your door, where you can only see eyes. You need to listen for laughter and look out for eyes in order to know when he's coming. Ter laughing in scary games is torture. It's crazy and sadistic. He enjoys torturing his victims before death, and this is evident by his action in Ultimate Custom Night, but also the way he speaks when he kills you, essentially talking down to you and talking as if he's gloating that he killed you, which is rude as f there we have it friends, the top 10 scary FNAF animatronics. Which ones are the scariest and are there any you feel I left out? I was avoiding Springtrap because he's William Afton in a suit, not really an animatronic, so there's no need for your angry comments. Let me know someone other than Afton below and on your way down, be sure you hit like and subscribe for daily gaming content and ring that bell to join the clan and level up. Thank you all so much for watching, I have been in Shower Man Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video.